up with you guys um i'm thinking i'm gonna do something colorful today so you guys can kind of see if you watch my vlogs you know that i got my eyebrows microbladed so you can kind of see how they're healing this is how they're looking i haven't done nothing to them this morning um i really really like this one i love this one this one is cool but I want the tail to be just a little bit thicker, I think, to match this one a little better. I don't know. But it could just be, you know, our eyes are used to seeing certain things a certain way. And we feel like that would make it more even and symmetrical. But maybe I'm just, you know, my face is crooked and <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, but so far, I'm loving them. Love, love, love how they're healing. Love how they are looking on my face i think they look pretty good and pretty natural but anyways that's not what y'all came for <laughs> so yeah i want to just do a full face of makeup today um i got some items in my boxy charm this is one of the items i got in my boxy charm it is this flawless serum from epion epion and honey they said this serum is worth 195 dollars so I was like, your girl has got to put some of this on her face. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this on my face and see how it feels. So it feels really nice, actually. I don't wanna say it feels greasy. It's not greasy, but I can feel it. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't feel like it's just automatically absorbing into my skin it does feel a little bit like it's sitting on top of my skin so i'm just gonna let this sit while i work on my eye look and we'll see how it is before i moisturize before i put on the rest of my makeup so it feels good though and i don't smell anything it doesn't have a scent to it so i think mm, like you know my eyebrows it's funny because they feel like they're you know pretty much done peeling and stuff right now and it's only been one week it's been one week today so I haven't had like any nightmare issues or anything with them but I'm trying to figure out do I want to carve them out to make them a little bit neater I kind of do so I'm gonna carve them out just a little bit and try and make them just pop a little bit more just by using some concealer right underneath them you know just so that my eye look can really come together so i'm gonna do that and then we'll jump into this eye look and today i am using my blend bunny palette this is the blend bunny surge so i'm finally trying this out purchased it recently this is what she looks like just in case you are not aware have not decided what I want to do yet, but obviously it's going to be something colorful. So let me carve out my brows a little bit and then prep my lid and then we'll get started. Okay, you guys, so I basically just carved out my eyebrows. I didn't put any color or anything in them. I just carved them out with some concealer. And I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good about them. So I'm going to go ahead and use some of my P. Louise base to prep my lids right quick. So yeah, I'm just going to prep my lids with a little bit of my P. Louise base on my sponge like I've been doing. And then we'll start this look. 
Wow, you guys, I am really just sitting here like, what do I want to do? <laughs> I kind of want to do like the orange and the purple and the blue, but I also want a little bit of green in there. What am I going to do? Child? Okay, let's just start putting colors on our eyes. <laughs> Cause, eh. Okay, so I'm going to start out with this shade here, this beautiful bright orange shade called Juicy. Yeah, let's just start out with Juicy and put that on the inner corner. Okay, well that color is very, very pigmented. Um, I think I want to go right into purple for some reason. Um, I want to do the darker purple. Or... No, we're going to go with this purple. This one's pretty dark. So I'm going to go with this purple shade here right next to that orange. This one is called Stay. Okay, so so far the pigmentation is off the chain. Okay, so I'm gonna go into this dark blue here. Yeah, we're gonna take it dark. That is the shade Linger, it looks like, Linger. And it's kinda like, it's like one of those real deep, dark, smoky um, type blues, you know, like borderline black okay so very deep dark and smoky i think um, yeah we'll see i always have to decide am i going to you know blend out the edges or do i want you know just a bold sharp eye look Whew, i haven't decided yet that's why i'm trying to be really neat with my placement because i don't know yet yeah, this color, shoot, it almost looks black. I don't know how long that was on my chin, child. It like powder or something. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the green. I think I'm going to have to blend out the edge really just, especially for these darker shades, just so you'll even be able to tell and know what the color is because they're so dark and grungy like i said they actually almost look like black so we're gonna go ahead and blend them out with their respective shades because this green yeah it definitely looks black on my skin tone <laughs> okay so yeah, now I'm just going to go into these lighter shades, the lighter green, lighter blue, um, lighter purple up here, and then this lighter shade, or maybe I'll take the yellow to blend out the orange, but I'm just going to add some lighter shades to kind of blend them out. Hopefully they don't get too crazy. Okay, you guys, so I added the lighter shades to get that little blendation going on. So this is what I have before we hit this cut crease. I'm gonna finish this, and then we will see what I'm gonna do with this lid. Okay, so I think I'm blended pretty decently. I mean, it's hard for me to really tell on this side because I think I have more light coming at me from this side. So, and plus this um, eyelid has like a scar right there. So sometimes it's hard for me to tell, you know, how much shadow I actually have on there and if it's blended or not, but honey, let me put a little bit more purple.
I don't know, that's gonna have to be good enough. Okay, so we got some beautiful shimmers in here. The question is, do I do, wanna do one color? Or when I do I want to do multiple colors? I'm kind of feeling like I want to do the blue or the green. Oh, that green is so pretty. Oh my gosh. And then this gold. The gold is gorgeous as well. Oh. I don't want to do all three. I want to focus on one. Let's do gold. Let's do gold. I know the colors are pretty, you guys, but my um crease is very colorful. So I'm gonna do gold. Let's do the gold. And if my dog don't stop barking throughout my video, okay? Ain't nobody but the trash man and the delivery man outside. So he really needs to chill, okay? Okay, so with the way this shimmer is looking, I really don't feel like I need to put down a base. You know, I don't want my lids to be that heavy today. So we're gonna try to just apply this shimmer and then try and cut this crease. So I'm gonna apply it with my finger first just to get the, the nice base down for the shimmer before I kind of neaten it up. I don't know how I got Oh, that's concealer. I'm like, what is that? I got concealer all in my hands. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so let's just apply with our finger first to get that nice, bold gold. Oh, that's gorgeous. Okay, hold on, hold on. So far, this palette is everything that I had hoped and dreamed it would be. It's beautiful. Okay, so now I'm gonna use a brush to try and, you know, get a nice shape going. Okay, you guys, so I have the gold pretty much in the shape that I wanted on my lid. So now I'm just going back in with that dark green and just smoking this outer corner and just trying to, you know, get it to blend just a little bit better in that outer corner. I think I put too much gold in this corner, but y'all, it is so freaking pretty. I do have fallout though. <laughs> Your girl has fallout all over her her face, so I'm gonna try to get some of this fallout cleaned up. It's just something about a colorful eye look for me. I haven't been doing a lot of them lately, but they just hit different. Whenever I do them, they just hit different. <laughs> okay, so let's throw on some eyeliner and lashes and move on to this face. Okay, you guys, so I got my liner and lashes on, so I'm good to go. So it looks like that serum did work its way into my skin. It doesn't feel at all like it's sitting on top. It is in there now. So I'm gonna go in with this um, Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Moisturizer. And I'm just going to put a little bit of this on as well, make sure my skin is nice and hydrated. Okay, and I also want to use my Huda Beauty um, jelly water. Is this jelly or is it just water? Water jelly primer. <laughs> I know it's jelly something. So I also want to use some of this to further protect my skin from all this makeup I'm about to pile on it. Okay. If my camera looks like it's in a different spot, it probably is because I knocked the mug over a minute ago. <laughs> so, yeah, if the setup looks a little different. It's because I did I accidentally knock my camera over. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my Essence Camouflage Concealer as usual to handle my dark circles. I 
actually think I need a new one because this one is actually feeling like it's kind of drying out a bit so and I'm not getting as much out on the wand so I will have to get a new one very very soon I don't know if I told you guys I got my whole face waxed like I guess it's been about a month ago now <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm thinking it's probably been about a month ago now. I was initially just wanting, you know, get my upper lip and blah, blah, blah. But I went back there and she convinced me to just do a whole face wax because my face was very hairy. Um, child, my skin was so freaking irritated after that. Like, the initial day, it was fine. I didn't really have any issues. The second day, it was very irritated. And then the third day, my face broke out. Like, straight up broke out. So, I don't know if I'll be doing that again. I mean, yes, after my skin cleared up and everything, you know, it's smooth as a baby's bottom. But, I don't know if I'll do that again. Because that mess... Maybe I just need to get used to it, but it did hurt. Now, I want to go in with my KVD Good Apple Foundation. This, um, like, cream foundation. I don't really typically use these type of situations, but I pulled it for my shop, my stash, so we're going to use this today. Um, I'm going to go in with, like, one of my dense brushes. Is this the best brush for this? It's been so long since I've used this foundation, honey. I don't even know. And from what I remember, the coverage is like crazy. So I shouldn't have to apply too, too much. But, you know, with these type of foundations, they tend to be like a lot heavier to me on my skin. And so I'm going to try not to put too, too much on. So this foundation is so full coverage, so thick that I don't even know how to put a small amount of this on. I just pick up a little bit with the brush and blend it out and it's like the coverage is crazy. So anyway, we're going to go in with, well, what I could do is I could try and tone it down a little bit with this sponge maybe, but or just kind of get it to soak in just a little bit more with this sponge, maybe. This is one of those $34 sponges that came in my boxy charm. Yep, $34 for two sponges. Mm -mm. So you best believe I'm gonna use these sponges, okay? They feel really nice though. It is really nice and juicy, I will say that, okay? Is a very nice sponge. Would I buy another one for $34? No. But it is. It's a nice, big, juicy sponge. Okay, so I feel like that's helping out a little bit to make it not feel so super duper cakey. But, child, this foundation is super thick. Okay, I'm supposed to be using my Uma Beauty uh, Woke Concealer, but... I think with this foundation being so like <laughs> super, I don't know, just super pigment, pigmented or with the cover of this foundation being so aggressive, I kind of want to just use my old faithful favorite Juvia's Place concealer today. So yeah, this is what... This is what we're doing today, okay? Juvia's Place, number 11. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so now to set my highlighted areas, I'm going in with my DJ's Unique Boutique Loose Setting Powder. And to set my face, I'm going to go in with this KVD um, powder foundation. So I'm going to use that today. I've really, really been loving this. Actually can't stop using it. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to use this today. I mean, you know, we're doing a KVD good apple. So I may as well use some of the KVD powder foundation just to kind of gently set everything in place. Okay, so now I think I'm gonna try one of these new minted bronzers that I just got. Um, I'm just gonna go in with the lighter one because I don't think I'm doing like contour today. I did get the two darkest shades. So this one is Yacht Life, which I think I'm going to go in with this. This one is Out of Office, which is super dark as you can see, contour for sure. So let's try Yacht Life and see if it even shows up on me. And with my bronzer, I kind of like to tap it down before I just kind of, you know, go in. And I do kind of like brush up gently, just upward, just so I can kind of see, okay, how it's going to apply. Okay, so this actually looks like a really, really nice bronzer shade for me. Very, very nice. Let me go ahead and just blend that into my skin a little bit. Yes. Oh, that's nice. Okay, Yacht Life. A little bit on the nose. Nice. And it has a nice smooth blend to it. Okay. Yes, I like that. I actually thought that I already had some minted bronzers, but I think I have blushes. I definitely have minted blushes, but not uh, bronzers. Because I think the bronzers that I have that I was thinking was minted are actually from the lip bar. I think I have some bronzers from the lip bar. So, yes, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. It's looking real nice. Real nice. Real warm. Bronzy for sure. It's definitely making me feel sun-kissed for sure. And I don't have one of those perfectly shaped faces, so I gotta pay attention to, <laughs> to where I'm putting this stuff and how it's looking because child, it could do more harm than good if I put it in the wrong places okay but i am loving this bronzer what like you got tell me what you think tell me what you think y'all hit them comments up i'm loving it so anyway yeah okay so i have a new blush to try also I'm gonna try my new Glowish from Huda Beauty. This one, y'all know I can't see. Berry Juicy, Berry Juicy, so that's what she looks like. I believe that says Berry Juicy, so yeah, let's uh, try this out. And since it is a very small, <laughs> very small blush I'm going to go in with just a smaller brush so I can pick up an even amount on the brush
Okay, so it's not giving me like, just like a crazy powerful, you know, amount of pigment upon initial application. You can definitely see it, but other blushes where I pick up as much as I'm picking up, it's usually like pow. This one is beautiful, gorgeous. I could see it nice and smooth. It's blending out beautifully with the rest of my makeup. Um, Yeah, but it's not like socking me in the face color. You know what I mean? So I need to stop saying, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I think my daughter gets that from me because she says it a lot too. You know what I mean? But I'd be talking to y'all like y'all right in front of me, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so, like you guys can respond. But anyway. So, yeah, this is pretty. Aww. Oh, look at the little blush. Look at the blush. I like it. It's pretty. <laughs> I'm happy so far. This KBD cream foundation is like super duper thick and full coverage, but everything else is blending really nicely right along with it. So I'm happy about that. Okay, what's next? Highlighter. Okay, so I'm going to use this new beautiful, is this, uh, what brand is this? Let me get my glasses, child. Kiko Cosmetics. I've never purchased anything from them before, but this is a Holiday Fable Divine Glow Highlighter. Um, this is the really, really pretty one that I got. I wanna go ahead and use her. Child, do you see that? Lord have mercy, I know, I know. But I'm about to mess her up. <laughs> she is about to get used, okay? She's gorgeous though. Okay, so. I don't know how bold this is going to be because I haven't swatched it yet. And with my highlighter, I do like to just tap it initially just to kind of see how it's going to lay down. If it's going to be super bright or not. Oh, that's pretty. You want to talk about subtle? Child, subtle but gorgeous? Ooh, that's pretty. Pretty. Yo, this is like that beautiful, just like lit from within type of highlight. I love these. Oh, that's pretty. No highlight, highlight. No highlight, highlight. I love it. I love it because it's like I can go in with this and not have to worry about, oh my gosh, putting on too much, it looking too crazy, it looking too bright. Oh, this is beautiful. And I think I got it on sale um, on Ulta. I don't know though. I might've bought it during the Black Friday or something, but oh my goodness. I haven't seen a highlighter this beautifully natural looking. Ciao. Oh, that's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I don't care. I don't care, honey. That is so freaking natural. Oh, that's. It's like, I can't, I can't even. I can't even. Let's get some of this natural glow on my nose a little bit. I love it. It just, it does not have that like super glittery, blinding look to it. Ugh, I love this. Love it, 10 out of 10. Let's finish these eyes. I think I wanna do a colored liner on the bottom because I haven't done that in a while. And I have this new pack of ColourPop um, eyeliner pencils to play with. Okay, so the question is which color? Green, blue, purple? Let's go green. Okay, so I'm gonna do this color. Ooh, that's kind of like a bright. Mm, that might be a little too bright, honey. Purple? 
Purple is so predictable. Okay, hold on. Let me do it like this. I'm gonna swatch this purple, and then I have this darker cream, darker green pencil. It's not necessarily eyeliner, but I got it in my, I don't know, one of my subscription boxes a while ago. It's super gorgeous. It's kind of creamy, so it has a tendency to run sometimes. But that's really the color that I want. So yeah, we're gonna go with this. I'll have to use my ColourPop pencils another time, okay? Okay, so that's what that green looks like. It's a pretty fat pan, so it's kind of difficult to get it right on the line without coloring my eyeballs, but I like it. It's really pretty. Okay, so back to the palette. Since I put that, oof. See, sometimes I really like to keep my lower lash line really, really simple whenever the top is kind of super bold like this. So let me put on my, some mascara and see how I feel because I really, really don't always like to smoke out my lower lash line. I know you know, it'll probably pull everything together nicely, but sometimes I don't want my lower lash line to be that heavy. So I'm going to go in with this ColourPop mascara that I'm trying out, it's called Level Up. I mean, so far it's okay. It's more of a drier formula. Well, at least the one I have, you know, it could just be drying out, but I just got it, so it should be fresh. But it is more of a drier, uh, thicker formula than some other ones that I'm used to which you know can make placement a little bit more difficult but it does fill them in nicely you know quicker I want to try that trick where you put like a few little dots on your lower lash line I've seen a few um content creators do that not a lot though just a few where they'll put like just like three or four dots black dots on their lower lash line and it really does make their lower lashes look more full it's such a trip so i want to try that with my look i'll end up just looking like i got three dots on my lower lash line and i end up looking like a fool but I do want to try it, okay, so, anyway, okay, so there we go, this, oh, this little thick mascara might not be too bad, okay, might not be too bad, okay, I think we're going with a new lip, new lip today. I love these Maybelline Lifter Glosses. Oh, so bomb, so bomb. And we're doing the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This one is the Ultra Matte. But anywho, this is it you guys. This is the final look with the Blend Bunny palette and all the complexion products that I used. Oh, I think my favorite, favorite today is the highlighter. I know this is about the Blend Bunny palette, which A1, I love it. No issues, no problems. It is bomb, okay. Definitely blendable, I love it. But the Kiko Cosmetics highlighter, child. Y'all tell me this highlighter is not gorgeous. Gorgeous. Anyways, everything else I'm happy with, that Good Apple Foundation, very thick, full coverage, not lightweight at all for me, okay? But yeah, I love it, I love it. So that's it, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe if you're not subscribed to your girl already. 
um yeah check out some of my vlog videos if you maybe aren't really into vlogs but you know you like to just hang out with your girl sometimes check out some of my vlogs um but that's it thank you guys so much i'll see you on the next one toodles hey hey